Jude chapter 1. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are sanctified by God the Father, preserved in Jesus Christ, and called. May mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. Beloved, while I was eager to write to you about our common salvation, I found it necessary to write and urge you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. For there are certain individuals who have secretly crept in among you, people who were long ago marked out for condemnation. They are ungodly, perverting the grace of our God into sensuality, and denying our only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to remind you, though you already know all this, that the Lord, after saving a people out of the land of Egypt, later destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own dwelling place, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. Likewise, Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them, which indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desires, serve as an example by undergoing punishment of eternal fire. In the same way, these dreamers defile their bodies, reject authority, and slander glorious beings. Yet even Michael, the archangel, when he was disputing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not presume to bring a slanderous judgment against him but said, The Lord rebuke you! But these people blaspheme all that they do not understand, and they are destroyed by all that they, like unreasoning animals, understand instinctively. Woe to them! They have gone the way of Cain, they have rushed headlong into the era of Balaam, they have perished in Korah's rebellion. These individuals are blemishes at your love feasts, feasting without fear, shepherds who feed only themselves. They are clouds without water, carried along by the wind, trees in late autumn, fruitless, twice dead, uprooted. Raging waves of the sea, foaming up their own shame, wandering stars for whom the blackest darkness has been reserved forever. Enoch, the seventh from Adam, also prophesied about these people, saying, Look, the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to convict all the ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds that they have committed in an ungodly way and of all the harsh words that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These people are grumblers and fault finders. They follow their own evil desires. They boast about themselves and flatter others for their own advantage. But, beloved, remember the words spoken beforehand by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they were saying to you, In the last time there will be mockers, following after their own ungodly lusts. These are the ones who cause divisions, worldly-minded, devoid of the Spirit. But you, beloved, build yourselves up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting anxiously for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to eternal life and have mercy on some who are doubting. Save others, snatching them out of the fire, and on some have mercy with fear, hating even the garment polluted by the flesh. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to make you stand in the presence of his glory blameless with great joy. To the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority, before all time and now and forever. Amen.